Alrighty guys, so um, as you might see, well, if you can't see, uh, I'm stripping her down. Ruger wants her back, uh, so I'm gonna send it back to Ruger. I got an email from them, which I'll throw up here on the screen that you guys read. Uh, they have a couple things they think are wrong with it that they're gonna fix, and so I'm gonna send this thing back to them. So I'm just taking all the parts off, and I figured while I do that, I'd make a video and kind of update you guys about the, pro the what's going on with that. So far, uh, my experience with Ruger's customer service has been phenomenal. They've been very responsive. They have been very helpful. They want to resolve the issue and they want to get this thing fixed and get it back in my hands as fast as possible. Uh, they're paying for a label and everything to come to me. They gave me a few different options of ways I can ship it back to them and they let me pick the best one. So again, no cost to me uh, so far. If there is, I will let you guys know, but so far there's not. Uh, but Ruger's been awesome. They want the gun back, like I said. And uh, we're going to get it fixed, and we're going to bring it back on the channel, and we're going to get this thing going. You know, because it kind of makes me sad that, you know, around 2,000 rounds, the gun's kind of taking a dump. But it does still work, which is kind of strange. I ran some 147 grain uh, selling a lot after I filmed that video. went back out that night just to dump a mag through to see. And it ran flawlessly, and none of the brass was beat up or damaged. So... I don't know if it's the ammo. I don't know if it's the gun. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I gave all that information to Ruger when I emailed them. I sent them pictures of everything. And to the two gentlemen I've been dealing with at Ruger, thank you so much. You guys have been awesome helping me sort this thing out and get it fixed. Uh, I don't want to mention their names for whatever reason. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but you guys know who you are. Uh, one of you I know watches the channel, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you've been a huge help. Uh, but yeah, we're going to send this thing off, get it back. I'm going to do my accuracy testing like I was trying to do with this optic here uh, from the, that accuracy testing video that you guys said, gave me a lot of great insight, information of ways to improve it and actually do better testing to give better results. So guys, thank you so much for that information. I will implement a lot of those changes with this next round of testing. Uh, but guys, speaking of comments and helping, that last video, you guys knocked it out of the park. You guys really gave some really good detailed information in the comments of issues you've had, things to look at, things to check, fixes you've done. All that information helps. It not only helped me, but it's going to help other people out there. And I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for taking time out of your schedules to comment so much detailed information to help others. Like, that's awesome. You, you guys knocked it out of the park. I really appreciate it. I can't express my gratitude enough for it. Thank you guys. Um, and to Rick4369, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for you know supporting the channel like you did. That's going to help a lot. And I just want to say thank you so much. And guys, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all of that really, really helps the channel. It really helps the algorithm um, because YouTube likes to kind of crap on gun tubers a lot. But guys, thank you so much for helping, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for telling me better ways I can do the channel, things I can improve. I really appreciate it. I like to learn from it, and I know a lot of you guys too. Uh, but sorry, this isn't this isn't a, one of those thanking videos. This is a SFAR video. Uh, so, yep, we're sending her back to Ruger. Going to get her fixed. Going to get it back. And we're going to shoot the crap out of it again. And we'll see if it fixes it and holds. Uh, like one of you said in the comments of the last video, Gen 2 will probably be the one to buy. And you're probably right. Gen 2 will probably have zero kinks zero issues with it but you guys thanks so much for liking subscribing commenting we'll see you around we got a lot of good stuff coming up so thank you so much guys stay strapped and i'll see you at the range